everyone it is Wednesday it's 7 35 and it's 79 degrees out right now it's beautiful 79 degrees is the lowest that I've seen it at this time of day 79 degrees mm, I love that number well it's another glorious day here in my little town and I slept very good last night despite I went to bed about 1130 um, I was up all night watching Netflix about a gentleman whose wife fell down the stairs he is an author and an ex-military man yeah so the case was very compelling on both sides and I don't want to get too much into it but the injuries that this woman suffered from supposedly falling down the stairs was something that did not look like she fell down the stairs the husband spent eight years in jail and spent about a year under a home arrest because he was out on bond yeah really good attorneys so if I fell down the stairs and I have lacerations all over my skull deep lacerations but the skull itself was not even fractured can you get fractures from falling down the stairs I think you can depending how you fall there's so many different ways you can fall to fracture your skull so because she had lacerations they thought that he was guilty that they hit her that he hit her with some type of a bar but it wasn't hot enough to uh, create any uh, skull fractures the lacerations was different part of her skull that could be contributed to a fall depending where in the stairs she fell I did see the staircase in the home it's a steep tall staircase so I think if she fell from all the way up when she, she lost her footing or her balance most likely they think she fell backwards if she if that happened she could get those lacerations in different part of her of her of her scalp but anyways I'm getting too deep into this it was a good series it was a docu-series meaning documentary in the end the husband pleads um, Uh, guilty there was a different kind of guilt that he could present as taking but I forgot what it was I think it's like the Aldorf guilty plea or something like that but anyway uh, in 2017 he he was done with the trials he was absolutely penniless uh, ended up selling his house and his daughters most of his children supported him but one so before continuing this I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers and to those people just checking out my channel for the first time if you guys see something here that resonates with you please consider on subscribing I'll be right back with more I'm not suggesting anything so complicated so anyways as he spent time in jail he was permitted to file for appeals and his lawyers kept scrolling back the trial and they kept investigating the um, the district attorney's lawyers 
and they concluded that he was treated unfairly and his civil rights were violated because part of his trial had to do that had to do with that he was having these affairs with men yes you heard right with men he was bisexual he was bisexual when he was in the military and they painted him as despicable and these this time and era you can't treat bisexuals or gay people unfairly so that's what they did and the way that they conducted the, invest the investigation which came to the conclusion that he was guilty was not practical and did not prove he killed his wife I don't know whether he killed his wife or not but the injuries to her to her head and face I don't see how that could have been caused by falling down the stairs if you're falling down the stairs you are gonna protect your head okay you're gonna protect your head um, naturally somebody swings at you you're gonna protect your face you're gonna protect your head if somebody's swinging the club at you you're gonna protect your head I think she should have had more defensive wounds and also if he did attack her why didn't they find his skin under her, her nails like they normally do because she could have fought back there was no DNA found on him she had no skin of him under her nails to the recordings of the 911 call when he claims to have discovered her at the bottom of the stairs sitting almost upright but sloped and there was blood everywhere everywhere so he had no DNA on on him from her that would say or suggest that he killed her. The 911 calls. I'm 911. What's your emergency? Oh, 1810 Cedar Street, please. What's wrong? My wife's had an accident. She's still breathing. What kind of accident? She's still on the stairs. She's still breathing. Please come. Is she conscious? What? Is she no. conscious? No, she's not conscious. Okay. Please. How many stairs did you call down? Sounded legit. Like he was in shock. Like he was devastated. I've seen a lot of these docu series of murders and stuff, and those 911 calls sounded so fake. Like the perpetrators were actually guilty because their 911 calls didn't sound genuine. But this guy's 911 call was genuine. You can tell. I could just tell. Okay, it sounded legit. He was in shock. He was shaken up. Okay? That's what I mean compelling. It's compelling because her because her injuries could have been from someone that killed her. But then again, it's also compelling to his side because usually when, a, when somebody's attacked, if somebody's going to attack me, I'm going to put my hands up. I'm going to have injuries on my arms. And if I'm being held, somebody's trying to kill me, I'm going to do whatever I can to gouge their eyes out. Okay, they, he would have had scratches all over his face. I probably would have kicked his ass. And I would have had his skin and his DNA on my fingernails. Okay. There was none of that. There was none of that. Yet, she sustained the injuries of someone who was attacked. 
there was a theory that an owl got into the house and attacked her. To me, that sounds a little, fa little far-fetched. If an owl gets into your house, I don't think the owl is going to attack you. I think the owl is probably going to want to escape. Okay? Whenever I catch a little animal in my garage, they just want to get away and escape. Even a bug or an insect wants to escape. Okay? Usually insects are there foraging for food. So do mice and all that stuff. But they don't want to be caught. They're not there to cause harm to anybody. Birds fly inside my building where I work all the time. They're not attacking people. Okay? So, anyways, that was an interesting show. I really enjoyed it. Um, I watched it for two days, and last night, it was the verdict. Of course, they found him guilty, and he spent um, eight years in jail. I think a year or two, he had to wear a monitoring device on his ankle. And uh, it's just horrible. It's just horrible. But anyway... Um, I gotta go inside and I'll be talking to you guys later. I hope you guys have a nice day.